Santorini! <laughs> Can't believe it. We're actually sailing to Santorini. It's 14 miles away. Wind is brilliant. We've got the music on and we feel brilliant. So we've just had a little bit of lunch and we should be there in about three hours. Very happy. o'clock in the morning and we're just leaving Santorini. We've got a couple of knots of wind at the moment but we're just coming around a, a big headland so the chances are we'll either lose it or it will change direction completely. Um, kettle's on. Um, Kevin's up at the helm. Boiling kettle. Tea time. about 12 knots of wind, we're on a close haul, um, full sails out and we're doing between four and four and a half knots. The sea is kind of against us a little bit but um, due to get there today around half past five at the moment which is perfect timing for tea. Dee's decided to put a new cord into the cover for the outboard uh, which has proven to be a little bit more difficult than we thought. Well, we're here, we arrived in Milos a couple of minutes ago. Um, sailed 99% of the way, it was brilliant. Anchorage looks as if it's going to be quite rolly tonight, so we'll see. But maybe we'll go and explore the caves tomorrow. So we've just 
left Porto Caggio and we're on our way to another bay. <laughs> um, it's only about 12, 13 miles up here, um, up into the second finger of the Peloponnese. The reason we're heading up that way is because there are shops and we need food, but also there's huge winds coming tomorrow and they've guesstimated about 40 odd knots of wind in some places. So we've got to find a nice little uh, hidey hole. So we've arrived in the Bay of Catronas, not Patronus, but Catronas. <laughs> There's no wind at all. So we're hoping this is a good place to be. We're going to go ashore, might even chat to some fishermen and see what they say. But we'll let you know. Well, it's a nice place to dock your dinghy. Nice little wall little fishing boats on. So we're going to go and see if we can find some shops and stuff. So we're walking about five o'clock this morning uh, when the wind started to get up and um, it's not picked up too much actually, although because of the bay I think it's swirling around. It's a bit windy. <laughs> <laughs> I had 32 knots. We've had 32 so far and there's a fishing boat going out. Good luck to him. If we were saying that I'd expect to be healing over this much. <laughs> So we've now got, I don't know, about 10 knots of wind. Yeah. Um, it's coming from the back quarter, which is absolutely fantastic. We're doing 6.3, 6.4 knots, which is absolutely brilliant. We are going in the wrong direction, as usual. So what's in Mazapos? There is a small fish restaurant. Looks very old and in need of TLC, but I guess you can get a drink and some food there. But apart from that... It's known as a taverna and it's quaint. It is quaint. <laughs> it's lovely actually, but um, there is nothing else here. <laughs> there's a few villas. Some few lovely, people. yeah, really nice stone villas. It is very, very isolated here. It is. A long mm. way to the next town. And and in the distance, I don't know if you can see over there, is the other finger of the Peloponnese, which is where we're going to head tomorrow. But there are no shops, there are no little towns nearby. Why would anybody want to be here? But it's beautiful. Isolation. Yeah, pure isolation. What have you got? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've just walked through loads of cobwebs. Beans. Ah, beans. Ooh. Well, that's the first vegetable we've had in a long time. Yeah. Could collect some of them. Yeah, but can you eat them? That's an old forgotten church you've ever seen one. It certainly is. Yeah, that's very old, isn't it? Good grief. Oh, good grief, it's open. for a while, has it? That is quite incredible. 
isn't it? It is. Cobwebs on the window. So we've got a couple of tombs here that have actually still got the bones inside. We were a bit shocked there. <laughs> well, I didn't know the metal. There was a little metal plate in front of it. Uh, there's bones in there, so. Yeah, gosh. So we're just leaving Mesopos after a couple of days um, on anchor there. So we're leaving now, we've, we've put the sails out, we've got six knots of wind and we're doing about two knots. And hopefully we should be there by tea time. Uh, it's a seven hour journey. And at this rate we'll get there tomorrow morning. <laughs> But yeah, um, so hopefully it'll pick up a little bit and we will be able to sail a little bit faster than we are. So we managed to get the sails out for the fourth time. And we've actually got quite a lot of wind now, between 16 and 21 knots. Um, we're heading almost in the right direction. Probably have to tack nearer the land. But um, so far so good. He seems to have calmed down a little bit. Good what bit. we got? 16 knots of wind. So this is our anchorage today. We're in a little place called Finnacunda and it's on the well bottom edge or the southern edge of the last of the Peloponnese fingers going west and it's very pretty. And it's quite a shallow anchorage as well, so we're only in about five metres, four metres, something like that. So we're staying here tonight, and then we're going to head off to Pilos tomorrow. So we took it in your Ida shore. Um, Kestrel's over the other side of the mole there, the harbour wall. Um, we've actually tied up onto the beach because it's very sandy, and um, it's a lovely town actually. It's, uh, we're going to have a wander around. We're going to go and get some fuel if we can find the petrol station. Um, Dee's gone off to find the bins, so she's over there, and I think that's where the footpath is that takes you around the coast, so we're going to have a look at that. This is what you call sailing. Taking the rubbish to the bin, taking your shopping trolley and your fuel canister. What's it like? I feel like an old man. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, pretty little town actually. We've been shopping, got to a great here. supermarket. No, there's nobody here at the moment. Supermarket was amazing, had lots of fresh stuff, everything we needed really. Um, so that's good. Went for fuel, but the fuel station is just too far away, we think. It's a good half an hour's walk along a main road with no footpath. So that was a bit of a bind, so we abandoned that. So we're sat in the church grounds, enjoying our lunch. Got a little bottle of water. We're happy as Larry. Yeah. <laughs> nice, isn't it? mention Larry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not mention Larry. Where are we just leaving? Finnacunda. Finnacunda. Yeah, nice little place. Not a lot there, but very nice. Very pleasant. Not too roly. A um, little bit of wind, but nothing too much. And we're heading to Pilos. And we're heading, I don't know if you can see that very well, up around this peninsula up here. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not do it now? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.